Hey there, NASCAR fans. I hope everybody is safe and well. But I got to tell you, I'm ready for some racing. So here we go. Drivers, start your engines. Green flag, NASCAR is back to back at Darlington. Ty Dillon to the lead, Joey Logano at the inside. Yeah, and he, exactly what I was talking about to watch for. Joey Logano gave a nice bump draft to Ty Dillon to help push him by Ryan Priest into turn one. Well, might have had a little bit of help there. Inside, inside, Not middle, sure. stay middle. There you go, clear. All good there. Didn't lock him up. Looked like Matt Kenseth was right behind John Hunter Nemechek. Can't tell if he had any help there. Certainly back end came around. That, that area getting into turn three, it's a little bit flatter. You get on the brakes, and then you really have to put a lot of wheel into it to keep that car down on the bottom. Yeah, really hard to say what happened there. Matt Kenseth was there. He was down to the inside by the time we got to this replay. He's going to go to the outside. Austin Dillon, three wide off a of turn four. You can't Man, do that here. That doesn't work at Darlington. Whew. That was close. Chase Elliott and Matt. Oh, Chris Buescher goes around. Turn two. And that will put us under caution. Did it look like he made heavy contact. Not sure what sent him around, but... Nice job of him locking it down and keeping it from being worse uh, on the damage side of things. <sighs> See, remember Jimmy Johnson and him making a little bit of contact last Sunday. As Jimmy goes to his inside. Oh, Michael McDowell. Look, yeah, looks like McDowell came up as the 17 of Chris Buescher moved down. They make contact, sends Buescher around, but I don't think he hit the wall. Yeah, maybe just a yeah, tiny graze to the rear bumper at the very end of that slide. I just don't know if Chris Buescher realized how quickly uh, Michael McDowell was closing in on him. Larry, that doesn't look like a lot of damage, does it? No, it really doesn't, Mike. They always look at the spoiler area, and if I go back earlier to John Hunter Nemechek, that spoiler area, it was in trouble, but this still looks fine. Bush just barely making it through there as we rode on board with Brad Keselowski. Oh, an issue at Blaney. Oh, he's been in the See wall. some damage on that right side. He's going to have to get to pit road, keep those tires from being cut down. And he's at the pit entrance and in. Yeah, he got into the wall off turn four about a lap ago pretty hard. Oh, yeah, you can see it, Larry. Heavy damage to the right front. Oh, he just pancaked the whole right side of that car. We stay green at lap 92. 22 laps to the halfway point. Well, you got to believe that maybe there was already an issue here. You see Blaney slowing down. I, I think he's already made some pretty heavy contact. Clean air. And Boyer, he talked about getting by his teammate, Kevin Harvick. He got by his teammate. Now he's got to get by Ryan Newman. And here comes Eric Jones, three wide. Southern 500 winner from last year. He is going to spoil Boyer's party right here. Wow. We see Chase Elliott almost take over the lead from Eric Jones. Now the crossover move from Eric Jones. Wow. These two young guys going at it. Elliott caught him easily, but Jones does not want to give that lead up. And now Elliott completes the pass. Oh, they went three wide by Matt like he's got a flat tire. He's going to spin here. Boy, this could be huge for Brad Keselowski. Caution for Kenseth. Three. Two half of Harvick. Very bottom. Side four, barely. Nine's got the 
go out back. Clear. Well, you've seen Clear. some history there because you don't often see three wide at Darlington, and they're all over the place now. And here goes Kyle Busch trying to take the lead from Denny Hamlin. Here comes Chase Elliott to the outside. Oh, wow, that did not work out for... Oh, Kyle Busch turns Chase Elliott. Hard into the wall. And almost back up into traffic. Oh, Cliff Boyer getting pushed. Almost collects him. Man, I'm not sure what that was all about from no. Kyle Busch. I don't know if he misjudged trying to side draft Chase Elliott, but definitely turned him. A very unhappy Chase Elliott climbs out of that car. You can see he's taking his time. He, he wants to see somebody first or... Yep, he was in position to have a chance to win it. Eleventh caution flag. Oh boy. Let's have a look at it. Here's why he's upset. Goes to the outside. Follows Denny Hamlin by the 18. And Kyle Busch just moves up and misjudges it completely. Gets into the left rear, spins Chase Elliott around, sends him into the inside wall. I mean, this is right in the middle of the straightaway. It's not a case of the car sliding up the racetrack. It got turned there. I mean, the only thing you, I can think of is you're looking in your mirror to see if you can get your, you're looking at Kevin Harvick, some of these other guys, how they're closing in. You're listening to your spotter, but I mean, that that's that's more than just a misjudge by an inch. I mean, that was not even close. Clint Boyer got punted by Quinn Half as everybody tried to check up. Nobody expected the nine to come all the way back up across the racetrack. And Kyle Busch, you finished second, but a long conversation with Alan Gustafson. Walk us through what you believe took place from your side of the fence. Oh, there's no question. I know I made a mistake and just misjudged the gap. Um, you know, when we were racing there with the 11 and the nine had a run on the, on him, I knew he was there. And uh, I knew I needed to get in line as quick as I could. And in doing so, you know, I watched him and his momentum that was going by me. And then I tried to look up in the mirror and see where Harvick was to get in. And I just misjudged it. You know, I made a mistake and uh, clipped a nine there and spun him into the wall. So I hate it for him and his guys. I mean, I got too many friends over there on that team to do anything like that on purpose. I've raced Chase since he was a kid and never had any issues with him whatsoever. So it was just um, a bad mistake on my part. And, and um, we'll just have to deal with it later on. After the debate, you, you've made your case. Do you feel like that, uh, obviously, there's hurt feelings, but do you believe that Gustafson and their side believe exactly what happened? Go ask them. Well, you had the conversation with them. How, how did he leave it? <laughs> They're upset. They're mad. I'm not just going to fix it, and we're going to have go ice cream tomorrow, yep. you know? So. Obviously, they, uh, they're going to have to dwell on it, and, and the repercussions of it, I'm sure I'm going to have later on down the road. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Matt, what's the atmosphere? Oh, oh the eh, okay. well. Okay, everything everything has All happened right. here tonight, but we are on. So we're on Fox, FS1. FS1. I mentioned Lake Marion. That's named for Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox of the Revolutionary War. David Pearson was the Silver Fox. Had a lot of wins here at Darlington. We could go on and on and on. <laughs> Matt, what's the atmosphere down there uh, other than damp? Well, as you mentioned, you're looking at the Fox. Everyone just sitting on the wall waiting to see uh, if we do indeed get this event going back rolling. It's not raining at this point, although pit road is uh, definitely wet. And Chris Gabehart was telling Denny Hamlin on the radio a few moments ago that their box here on pit road is soaked. But they're just waiting to see exactly what happens. All right, no foxes have been harmed in the running of this race. <laughs> Denny Hamlin will go to victory lane. NASCAR has called the race for rain. And Hamlin will pick up his 39th career win tonight. Second of the season after winning the Daytona 500. And his third Darlington win in 16 attempts. 
He now becomes the 14th driver in history to win three races at the track too tough to tame. And he's won the first NASCAR Wednesday race since July 4th, 1984, when Richard Petty got his 200th <laughs> victory. How about that mask? Ah, oh, Denny. He's got a smile on his face, Mike. <laughs> 178th win for Joe Gibbs Racing and second of the season. 145th career win for Toyota and their second win of the year and eighth at Darlington. Fireworks go off. Here's Matt. And the rain definitely begins to drop now from the clouds. No doubt who you are. Another winner here at Darlington, Denny Hamlin. Yeah, I got my happy face on. Uh, <laughs> made sure I brought it with me today. Uh, just can't thank FedEx and Toyota, Coca-Cola, Jordan brand, uh, the whole JGR, engine, fab shop. The pit crew did a great job today. Everybody, really. Uh, I was pretty happy with how it all turned out. You've told me so many times that Daytona is special, but Darlington is a driver's okay. racetrack. And this one, to have your face on that trophy again, that means a lot. What's it mean to you and why? Well, I mean, why wouldn't you want this mug on the trophy <laughs> again? So, uh, I don't know. It's just, uh, it is. It's, it's a driver's racetrack. You can move around. You can you can do different things to uh, make your car handle. And we just, we, we got it right today. All right. Congratulations. Mike? For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.